Hello, it's me, Mir Roshi, and today I bring you some Diablo 3. I've been playing a bit on and off during the season, and today is the last day of the season. So, what better way to kill off my hardcore character than by doing a little challenge? I'm not gonna play my character really anymore as soon as the season ends, because in 10 days from now, on the 13th of February, a new season will start, and as soon as that season starts I'll create a new character and I won't touch my old one anymore so how can I go down with a bang I thought by myself well the best way is to go torment 6 and kill Meltiel I have not gotten that achievement yet I have not done it before as you can see here I still need to unlock this so I'm gonna try that now as you can see here in the top it's torment 6 and here in the left top you can see that this is a hardcore character by the red skull here and it's seasoned by the green leaf so let me first show you what I'm gonna lose if I'm dying a pretty nice Leoric crown 729 strength out of 750 722 vitality out of 750 max crit chance max uh, increased effect of the gem socketed into this helm and max reduce duration of control impairing effects. So this helmet is pretty nice. Then a black thorns necklace. I do have resistance necklaces, but I, I don't have cold necklaces. So Meltiel mostly deals cold damage, as far as I know. So I didn't see really the point of wearing a resist necklaces. So that's why I wear my black thorn because I have a little bit extra damage with this one compared to the resist one. Um, the secondaries are neglectable, uh, the main are pretty decent, not the highest rolls, but the most important is the gem. I have a level 25 gem on it and yeah, if I'm gonna lose that, that kinda hurts. Then I have an Akan set, the shoulders, the chest armor, the gloves, the pants and the boots. The boots have pretty decent rolls, uh, the pants not that high, chest not that high, uh, shoulders yeah, mediocre and the gloves are pretty nice with uh, the trifecta stats on it. None of them are ancient so yeah it's uh, I have a second set in my stash uh, as backup so that's not really a big deal. Then my reaper wraps. Uh, I crafted them myself, they're ancient and they have pretty decent rolls on them, uh, not the highest but still pretty nice. Then a string of ears, uh, I mostly use that for the defensive stats in the secondary which is reduced damage from melee attacks by 29%. A ring of royal grandeur, it's not that impressive this one but uh, the gem again, level 25 bane of the powerful that I'm gonna lose. Then I have a nice Bulkatos wedding ring, uh, pretty high rolls, I haven't really found anything in this season yet that uh, had higher base stats, so that's why I kept it. It has a Pain Enhancer rune on it, not the high one. Um, I took Pain Enhancer because I'm gonna yeah, only attack Meltiel in his uh, little chamber. And I do have, for example, Bane of Trapped, but yeah, it's no point. Uh, since it's not level 25 yet, so I, I'm not even sure if my build can CC Meltiel, so yeah, that's why I took Pain Enhancer for the single target damage. Then I have a Burst of Red, that's an Act 3 Cache weapon. Um, yeah, it has pretty high rolls on it, except for the strength, so and it lets me maintain my, uh, my Red a lot better with the secondary. And then, last but not least, the legendary Crusader Shield, Unrelenting Phalanx. It's uh, specifically for this uh, Stampede build. I get double the amount of, uh, of horses running from me. As you can see here, six now instead of three. Um, then, for my Templar, my follower. I do have a relic of Akarad on him, I do not have the, um, the relic that makes him invincible, so I cannot run the unity combo with the invincible relic together with a unity on him and a unity on me. 
I do have a unity in my stash, but I didn't found a second unity nor the relic. So that's not gonna work. I will take full damage. He has a Thunder Fury. Uh, I mostly use this one purely for the secondary that the enemies get their attack speed and movement speed reduced. Then, yeah, the rest is just neglectable. It's just a little bit to boost the stats, but my Templar is just gonna die. So, yeah, not really much to say about him. Then my skills. For Generator, I use Slash with the Zeal Rune. Then Provoke as well to generate red, but also to reduce um, their attack speed and their movement speed. Then my damage skill is Phalanx with Stampede. And I'm hopefully stunning Meltiel. I do not know if he gets hit uh, or CC'd. I, I'm not sure. I don't think he can get CC'd, but we'll see. Uh, steed charge with endurance to just run around fast and avoid certain spells. Uh, Laws of Valor, wi Valor with unstoppable force, also again for reducing the red cost to spam as much stampede as possible. Akarat champion eventually for the increased damage, also for the red regeneration and the extra armor. In hardcore, also the uh, when you take fatal damage, you activate Akarat champion and be returned to full health is really really powerful of course because it's hardcore indestructible passive then heavenly strength because i'm wielding a two-handed weapon so i can also wear that shield holy cause for the extra 10 percent damage and wrathful because i'm constantly spamming rat so that constantly heals me up Okay, I have the bounty kill Maltiel, so it should be pretty easy for me to get to his lair and then hopefully I won't die and otherwise, yeah, it's gonna be good TV. <laughs> have fun. Okay, there we are. Let's run to Maltiel. Let's see how it goes. Those are not that hard. Yeah. 
get nothing. Fantastic, uh, Torment 6. Great drops. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. That was it. Battlefield Kill at Torment 6. Got my achievement. And uh, yeah, I didn't die yet, so need to find another way. Probably greater rifts. Maybe I'm gonna try to also kill the. What is it? The Soul of Evil at Torment 6 Arco. But I don't have keys yet, so I might farm it a bit. But yeah. We'll see. <laughs> Thanks for watching and bye.